Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, this is Wilson DeCabo, Washington. I am the CEO of Youth Normality. And uh, today, I am not going to lie, I'm required <laughs> to do a certain amount of stuff. And if it seems sporadic, I apologize because my life is actually better than it was when I was able to just do it on a consistent basis on a consistent basis on a consistent basis and surprisingly enough that it's funny because you will figure when your life got better that you know things would be more easier I guess that's not true. And that's perfect because today's topic is what now? That's today's topic. What now? Now for the kids that I mentor, that I'm sponsoring, stuff like that, that's part of Youth Normality, y'all already know what I mean. What I'm saying, like, what now? Because we went through this whole journey that we went from the beginning of why we were acting out, basically, looking for attention, getting through that. Now you successful in the sense that you got over it and you're in a better space what now see a lot of times adults tell people stuff and they tell children stuff but we don't tell them what's going to happen or what to do after they do what we ask them to do so it's just as, as important for you to tell them how to get out the forest, that's cool. I commend anyone who does that. But tell them, hey, look, it's a mountain. It's mountains right as soon as you get out of the trees, you're going to run right into mountains. Like, and then you wonder why they get through the forest and they fight through the forest. And then when they see the mountains, they, they deflate it almost. They're like, oh, man, I ain't going through this shit again. Because they had no pre-warning that just because you got your life together does not mean that everything is going to be absolutely Disney World the next day. See, it, see... I had a young man come up to me and he, and he didn't say it, but subconsciously he thought he was doing something wrong. And, and he used to call me all the time. Like, yo, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I got back in school, I'm getting my grades. I'm back with my mom, I'm chilling, I ain't selling drugs. Like, what the what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I'm sorry it's about laughing, but it's funny. No one told him that's just life. No one told him that. See? You see? You see, see you see the damage that it does when you don't say that? This boy was doing everything right. And stuff still was happening. Because, and he thought that him doing everything right would stop everything from happening. No one said, hey, look, this is going to be forever. <laughs> you're going to be going through something every once in a while forever for the rest of your life. Whether you're a good, bad angel, the devil, whoever. It's just life.
but no one tells them that because people like telling people people say they want the truth they don't want the truth they want like really pretty lies <laughs> they want really really pretty lies the truth is very ugly so people say they people say stuff all the time I just want an honest person. No, you don't. You you couldn't you couldn't stand an honest person because you haven't been around honest people. You don't even understand honesty. So, if a kid has been around chaos his whole entire life, as crazy as this is gonna sound, peace is going to be uncomfortable. For him or her. Tell you a funny story. I moved from Philadelphia, and, and, I, and even though I live in a, a, a periodically nice neighborhood for the ghetto, like uh, I still like Vincent Dolph, and it was like dangerous. So, like you know, I ain't gonna put all my business out there, but it was, it was like dangerous. So I was just used to crazy stuff happening all the time. And I moved to Jersey. And I remember being in this house by myself, right? Now, I'm not going to lie. I, at the time, I had a gun at the time. I don't deal with that kind of stuff no more. But my, my students already know my story. I had a gun, right? Because I was like in the house by myself. It wasn't to do nothing for protection, right? I heard something on the back window scratching. Like, I thought somebody was trying to break in the house. Right? I grab the gun, I go downstairs. I'm creeping around. And when I get to the kitchen, it's a deer and two baby deers, and a mom is scratching on the window. Now, I know people from Jersey, like, I see deers all the time. Like, that's normal. It wasn't normal for me. I hear scratching on the back door. I'm thinking somebody trying to come break into my house. Because peace was new to me. I had to get used to peace. It was so crazy. I used to crave chaos. I missed it. So I'm not just speaking from a book or from a college degree or from uh, some type of formatic. I'm not speaking from any experience or something that I read. I'm speaking from the reality in which I live. Now I love peace. I, I don't even go outside. But I, I didn't just get here. And as crazy as it sounds, the answer to what now is, you have to get used to things being Okay. Stop waiting for the ball to drop. Stop bracing yourself for something messed up to happen to you. Stop thinking that now that you got your stuff together, people want, man, listen. Life is going to give you plenty of opportunities to be miserable, worried, stressed out, and all that. In your times of peace, understand the blessing of peace and those who need to get used to it you not strange there's nothing wrong with you if you was 
in the jungle and someone took you to a nice apartment with air conditions and all kinds of stuff, you're going to be strange. Even though it's a blessing, it, it's going to be strange. So the answer to what now is simple. I, I reached my goal. I got 10 minutes. You know, I, I try not to do it longer than that. I know some people do hour things. I ain't, nah, I ain't doing all that. But for those who support me, thank you very much. Once again, I apologize for the, uh, the not keeping the schedule as I used to. But if I help somebody out, to God be the glory without him, I have nothing. To God but one.